How do actors make money? Well, if you're a big time Hollywood celebrity, you're negotiating multi-million dollar deals for your blockbuster movies or your hit television shows. But if you're one of the other 99% of actors who are not at that level yet, how do those actors make money in their careers? Well, in this video, I wanna share with you 10 different ways that actors make money in this industry. What's up my fellow actors, welcome to the Acting Career Center, here to help you learn the skills you need to break into the film and television industry. My name is Kurt Yu, thank you so much for spending some time here with me today. If this is your first time here, make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more videos on acting, auditioning, and career advice every single week. Today we're talking about different ways that actors make money within this industry, because like I said before, unless you are a big time celebrity, you are not rich and famous. Most actors are not not rich and famous. And unlike a corporate job where you're getting a steady paycheck every week or every other week, actors usually don't know where the next paycheck is coming from. So we're always on the lookout of how we can make money in our careers. Now I've talked about actor finances before in a previous video where we discussed how actors make money outside of the industry with their survival jobs and their side hustles. And if you're interested in that video, I'll put a link to it down in the description below. But in today's video, we're talking about 10 different ways that actors make money within the industry itself. How we make money by actually performing and getting paid for it. So let's get right to it. The first way that we are going to discuss is what most people already know about, and that is acting in movies and television shows. When you're just getting started in your career, you are most likely not getting lead roles in major movies or television shows, and that's because productions are looking for someone who they can trust, who has a strong resume and a body of work that can back up being cast in that type of role. So when you're first getting started, you are most likely only getting a chance to get a role that is a small supporting role where you're on set for maybe a day or two. But these types of roles on movies and shows are great for your career because not only are they a credit for your resume and their footage that you can add to your demo reel, but you also get paid for it. And in the United States, the major movies and television shows are all under a sag after a union contract. And what that means is that there is a minimum base pay that is pre-negotiated for every time that you are on set. Right now in 2020, the base pay for a sag after a full budget production is about $1,000 per day for the actor. So that's pretty good money for a day's work, right? But guess what? It gets better because actors can also make money off residuals on those projects. Let me tell you what residuals are. Basically, every time that a production makes more money in the back end off of a production, a the actor gets a small percentage of that. So if uh, the production makes more money off of reruns on a network or off DVD sales or Blu-ray sales or video on demand, or let's say a streaming service picks it up at some point in the future, anytime a production makes more money off of that project, the actor will make a percentage of that money. So that means that you're just gonna get a check in the mail at some point in the future whenever that deal is struck. So let me just give you an example. A few years ago, I worked on an episode of a television show. I worked one day on set. I made a little over a thousand dollars that day, but over the next few years, my residual checks came in and I made probably six or seven times that in my residual payments over the course of the next few years. And I'm continuing to get checks because that episode continues to get rerun on the network. So this is why most actors really wanna get into movies and TV shows because the more work that you get in these types of projects, the more money that you can make, not only on the days that you work, but also potentially in residuals years and years down the line. So now you might be thinking, wow, that sounds awesome. I just wanna act in a ton of movies and television shows, but guess what? That's what everybody is trying to do as well. So it's extremely extremely competitive. Even the tiny one-line roles in every movie and show has thousands of actors trying to get those roles. So it's really, really hard to consistently book those roles in movies and shows. And that's why we're talking about the other nine ways that actors make money in this industry. And the second way we're going to talk about is in commercials. A lot of actors make a ton of their income via commercials. And that's because if a commercial is under a SAG after union contract, you also get residual payments for commercials as well. 
And oftentimes those residual payments can add up to a lot depending on how much a commercial is played. Think about the commercials that you continuously see on TV. The more a commercial is run, the more those actors on those commercials are getting paid. So there are actors who make a living by just doing commercials because they can be extremely lucrative. And if you can get to a point where you are the spokesperson for a brand, that's pretty much being a lead character in a movie or a television show. So that's another major way that actors make money within this industry. But similar to film and television, there can be a lot of competition for commercials as well because of the potential money that can be made. Another way that actors make money in this industry is by being a stunt performer. Now this is a completely different skill set, but if you are interested and you want to learn that, this can be another way that opens a lot of doors for you in this industry because it gives you more opportunities to get hired. I know people who have worked on Marvel movies and Netflix shows as stunt performers and they make a great living being able to do that. And stunt performers get residual checks as well so it can be a great opportunity to not only work on set but also make more money from it. Now even if your main career aspirations is not in stunts it can still be a great skill to have because I have seen casting calls where they are looking for actors who have stunt experience in their background. So if you are someone who wants to get physical on set and thinks that stunt performing might be something that you'd be interested in you might want to look into taking some stunt classes. Another way that actors can make money in the industry is by doing background work or being an extra. Now there are a lot of strong opinions on whether or not actors should do background work or how much they should do. So in my opinion, when you're just getting started and if you have no credits on your resume, you have no experience whatsoever, doing background work is can be valuable. You can get a lot of on-set experience. You can see how a major movie or a television show is run and you're getting paid. You're not getting paid as much as a principal performer, but you're still getting a paycheck to be on set and to gain some experience. So I think in that respect, background work can be very valuable. When you get to the point where you're starting to book speaking roles, then you might want to start pushing background work out of your career. Here's another thing that you should think about when you're considering doing background work. If there is a show that you really want to be on as a principal performer, you may want to consider not doing background work for that show because if your face gets seen as a background performer, then you're character has been established on that show and you are no longer allowed to audition for other roles on that show. So this is why I tell most people to avoid doing background work on shows. You can do them on movies or commercials because they are just one-off projects. And also in commercials, there's a potential that you could get bumped up to a principal performer. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens much more often than on a movie or a television show. Another way that actors make money in this industry is by being a stand-in. Now, if you don't know what a stand-in is, it's basically someone who substitutes for the principal actor before they start filming, while they're setting up the lights and the camera and everything like that. You're basically standing in for the actor while they're trying to get all the technical details right. Now, there are a few things I really love about stand-in work. One, you're getting paid more than being a background actor. Two, I think the experience that you get as a stand-in is even more valuable than the on-set experience that you would get as a background actor because now you're not just in the background, you're literally standing where the main character or the principal actor would be on the set while they're getting the lights and camera ready. Oftentimes they will give you a script to read as well because they want to get the whole blocking down so you really get to feel what it's like to perform on camera with the lights and everything. Another great benefit is that your face is never going to be seen as a stand-in because you are not a background performer. You're basically taking the place of the actor before they come out on set. So if your face is not seen on camera, that means you can still audition for that project. I know plenty of actors who have done stand-in work on a project and also auditioned for it and booked roles on the same project. So this is another great way that you can make money within this industry. The next way that actors can make money within this industry is by doing theater. Now obviously there are a ton of actors who are strictly pursuing theater as as their main profession but even if you're trying to pursue a career in film and television there are plenty of opportunities to still do theater as well now most theater productions are not going to pay anywhere near as much as a day on set 
of a movie or a television show, especially when you factor in the time commitment that goes into doing a play. But oftentimes what you're really gaining from doing a play is the training from it, the, the building of your skills by doing a play on stage. And if you're able to do that and get paid for it, what well, can be better? The next thing we're going to talk about is something that I've done a lot of in my career and that is act in industrial videos. An industrial video is a video that is created for an industry rather than for consumption by the general public. So the main example of an industrial video is a company training video. So if you've ever worked at a corporation, your first day on the job, you probably watched a training video on how to do the job or maybe a safety video on how to be safe at work. These are examples of industrial videos that are used all the time and they hire actors as well. So this is another great way to put your acting skills to use, even though these types of videos are not going to be seen by anyone outside of that particular industry. The next way that actors can make money within this industry is a really popular one and that is voice acting. Voice actors have so many opportunities, basically the same as an on-camera actor. You can do a movie, you can do television shows, right? There are animated movies, animated shows, you could be a voiceover actor in commercials, voiceover actor in industrial videos. You can do all of the same things that an on-camera actor can do. Plus, you can do video games, you can do audiobooks, you could do uh, narrative podcasts now. There are a ton of potential opportunities available for people that do voice acting. But remember, this is a new skill set, so if you are interested in voice acting, you've got to know how to really control your voice specifically for that medium. So I highly recommend you take a voiceover class if that's something that you want to pursue. Here's a way that actors can make money in this industry that a lot of people don't think about and that is being a commercial print model. Now I'm not talking about being like a Calvin Klein or a Victoria's Secret model, which if you have that look, definitely go for it. But there are modeling jobs available for people that look like everyday average human beings. I've done a ton of commercial print modeling in my life and I'm definitely not that six foot four runway model type. Companies often want to hire actors for their print ads because they want to have someone who has been trained to express the emotions that they want to convey in their advertisements. So this is another way that actors can supplement their income. The 10th and final way that we're going to discuss today about how actors can make money in the industry is not really in the industry itself, but it is a way that you can make money while performing and that is by being a standardized patient. Most medical schools will hire actors to be standardized patients to help train their medical students. So your job as a standardized patient is to improvise a scenario where you have some health complications and the medical student's job in this improvised scenario is to try to diagnose what your problems are. So instead of getting a script, you're given a set of circumstances and a scenario for you to act out and improvise this scene. So you're kind of acting out your shoulder pain or you're having a headache or whatever that situation is and the medical student has to try to figure out what exactly is going on. So not only are you getting paid to act, but you're also getting paid to help train future doctors. So what could feel better than that, right? So if you're interested in becoming a standardized patient, I would recommend you just go to Google and do a search for your, your nearest medical school and then search for standardized patient after that. So for instance, I'm here in Atlanta, a medical school that's nearby is Emory Medical School. So if I just go to Google and search for Emory Medical School standardized patient, it takes me right to the website where I can contact them and tell them I'm interested in being an actor for their program. Okay, those were 10 ways you can make money as an actor. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, remember to subscribe to this channel to get more videos from me every single week. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I hope to see you on set one day.